Hey there, lovey doveys. It's Holly with the Center. So yesterday I finished up my, my series of talks at Grace Christian Academy with those freshman kiddos that are there at that school. You guys, we talked about empathy yesterday. Talking about empathy, well, the progression of empathy to teenagers was really, really, it was an amazing moment. Okay, so first you've got that level of pity, like, man, that stinks for you. I hate that. Then you've got sympathy, like, Oh man, I really am sad that you're going through that. And then the next level up is empathy, where you just, you feel that sadness, that sorrow, that pain with that person. You know what that next level is? Compassion. And having compassion is when you are moved to do something. Like, okay, I see your pain. I feel your pain. What can I do to relieve your pain? So um, when I was doing my research to talk to them about empathy, I found this museum called walk a mile in their shoes museum it's over in britain somewhere it's not in the u.s but anyway it made me think of the time that i wore my danny's boots okay my danny oh my golly let me show you how my danny stood always like this hip out standing sideways and you can feel it in these shoes so i'm a big footed woman okay i wear that's 12 in women so i can wear all kinds of dude shoes so when my Danny passed away in 2017, Mama said, hey, you want any Dana shoes? And I'm like, yes! Little did I know, I can feel how he stood every step. It's ridiculous to walk in these boots. Let me show you the heel of this boot, y'all. It is like completely crooked. <laughs> it's like not level at all. But to, okay, so let me tell you, I digressed. Anyway, I gotta get these boots off. So this museum in Britain, it's called a walk a mile in their shoes. And you go in and you tell them what size you are. For me, I'm a size 12 in women, so I'm probably getting some dude shoes. And they give you a pair of shoes that will actually belong to somebody else. And then there's a little earbud, a podcast kind of thing. And you hear the voice of the person, the shoes that you're wearing, and you go and walk a mile in their shoes. Isn't that an amazing concept? It reminded me of walking in my Danny shoes. And you've heard that saying before, before you judge someone, put yourself in their shoes, walk them out in their shoes. And y'all, it has never been more serious of a time to do that. Like before you judge someone, before you get to feeling frustrated with someone, pause, push that pause button. Put yourself in their shoes. We don't understand the amount of stress, the amount of toil that people have going on in their lives. You know, we, we're all experiencing this storm. But even if you and I fell down at the exact same time, got the same boo-boo, it affects people differently, okay? So we can all be going through the same storm, but we're in different ships. We're on maybe in a canoe. We may not have all the tools that we need. We're not prepared to face that storm, okay? So the whole gist of this little video today is be empathetic. You got that first level of pity. Meh, that stinks for you. Sorry. Then you go up to sympathy, okay? See that and feel sorrow for them. And then empathy is get in there and do life with them. Compassion, what are we going to do about this, okay? So I wanted to share with you that progression of pity, sympathy, empathy, and compassion. And share with you about pushing that pause. Walk a mile in someone's shoes. When you are tangibly, you can feel how every step. I feel how Danny took that walk. How he was sideways and stood and, and you know it's it's incredible so be mindful of how other people are feeling be mindful of the situations that they're in and i hope you have a wonderful day you guys have the power to choose bye y'all